All right, so the last game on the board right now is that Brown Steelers game. Obviously, this is like a COVID crazy game. Kevin Stefanski has tested positive. Other people on the Browns team have tested positive. The facility has been closed. The game opened at three and a half. It got that up to five and a half. I know for a fact, I saw on Twitter, you took it at five and a half. Uh, it's now at six. Is there a stop point where it gets to be too much and you can't be on the Steelers or what's your take here? Even better, buddy. We got the money line from, uh, what is that? Monday, Sunday night or Monday morning. I took it for us. We need some of these money line parlays. So yeah, Ooh. we're all in on this, all in on the Steelers. I, uh, threw it out to the fans that I would take it up to seven. That's where I have it at, even without the coaches. But I mean, I probably would take it at seven. This is just one of these games where the Browns have been practicing on parking lots and virtually for about two weeks now. Yeah. They keep having guys pop up with COVID. And what we, what we've learned with COVID it is, it's never just one guy. It always – another guy comes up with it later in the week or someone else is going to pop up with it. So NFL is just – keeps going ahead. I mean, maybe they'll move it to Monday. I just don't see it happening because that's a disadvantage to whoever wins the game. But love this number. Love it up to seven. Um, really would be shocked if the Browns somehow pulled this game out. Everything's just going against them right now. They're playing against the team that the, – the second team almost beat them. So – I, I don't think Baker can handle the pressure well. I already loved the game coming in. I love the Steelers coming in, minus three and a half. The fact that it's up to six because all the COVID news and the coach might be out, we still love them. So this is definitely in our five with Pittsburgh here. All right, so we've got our big balls bet. We've got our hornet's nest. We've got our foxhole bet. Here are the five, six, seven, eight that we've narrowed down some of these we've already made. So we'll put these in the app and let people know like the bets that we've made. Um, Bills minus six and a half Seahawks minus four Washington plus nine plus plus we like the over in this game. The total on that is 45. Uh, we like the, who else? The Titans plus three. And we definitely like the over 53 and a half. We like the Bears plus 10 and plus 10 and a half or 10. And we like the over 47 in that. And then we like the Steelers as much as you can get until it gets to seven and then, you know, walk away. Essentially, did I, did I capture that? Yeah, like six is people don't, don't think it's a key number. I, I really do believe six is a key number because of all the extra points missed. So yeah, the five and a half, that was just great value that most people got that before it hit the six. But yeah, and also in this game, I can't fault you for taking the over because we've seen the Browns and the Steelers have been prone to big plays. And this is the third time these teams have seen each other. So they know what kind of scheme both teams are running on defense and on offense, but both these teams have been susceptible to big plays. So I lean the over as, as well for this, but this is one of these games you have to wait on the weather Pittsburgh. They're right near the great lakes. You never know what the weather can be up near the steel city. So I'd wait on that number, but. Yeah, buddy. Um, we can go through right now the money lines we got played right now. We have the way I like to do. I like to do two teamers for money lines, and okay. the juice might be a little high, but if you're feeling spicy, you just do three teamers, and you get the plus one thirty-seven, or you get plus one hundred nine, depends on the teams you take. So, for the money lines, I stayed away from for these favorites. I stayed away from the Buccaneers because I like Washington. I stayed away from the Ravens money line because obviously we like the Titans in that one. And every other team, I pretty much did different variations of a two-team, three-team teaser. So the biggest one for us is the Steelers. If the Steelers lose that game outright, it, 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 might, it might hurt us a little bit. But I just loved it, like Sunday night, Monday morning, after watching that game, the Browns, they're just not there yet. And we know that Big Ben's been here before. Mike Tomlin's been here before. We have a huge coaching advantage, especially now that Stefanski's out. Like, this guy is going to be – might not even be in the stadium trying to help this team out. So, we're, we're all in on Pittsburgh this week. And just so people don't forget, our our Super Bowl, What we we love the Bills. We played it earlier. Um, for the NFC, we like the Seahawks. We think that's where the good value is right now for Super Bowl and the NFC. All right, there you have it. Again, I'm going to put all these in the app. You've gotten a big picture of what we're looking for. You've gotten a lot of the numbers that we're thinking about. You've got some of the money line. I will get all this. And as lines move, I will put them in the app as we make bets. I will put them in the app. It's a little bit different than what we had been doing during the season because we were putting picks in on Sunday morning, which I will also do if we make any changes. Um, but I'll put them in as we go. 
because we're not beholden to like DraftKings locking a number on Thursday and then us having to put something in by Sunday. We can get the lines as they come and as we feel good about them. So I will, uh, I will share that as we go.